Hey guys, this is episode number 15, and this week we're going to talk about sellers. The answers to why your home isn't selling. Welcome to Real TV, our weekly series where we give valuable info to buyers and sellers about all things real estate. I'm Paul Summich for Harcourts. So sellers, let's talk about the answers to why your home isn't selling. So if that for sale sign is still up and it's been a little while, it could be due to one or any combo of the following things. Let's quickly run through them. Number one is condition. It's the condition of your house and property. It doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't have to take a lot of time, but have you done those little things? You know, is the, are the weeds off the driveway in between the paving stones? No sort of grub on the windows outside and the window sills are all tidy. Inside, you know, the little scunge off the shower, things like that. It's all tidy and, and is in good condition as you can possibly make it. Next one we want to talk about is location. Not much you can do about that, unless you bought a porter home. But, uh, you know, it might be that you're on a busy road, wrong side of the street, train tracks close by, other noise, whatever, steep driveway, all of that stuff can add up to being little little negatives on the property, so location. Next one we want to cover off is marketing. You really can't sell a secret, so working with the real estate agent, you need to ask them if they've done all they possibly can and are doing all they possibly can to show your property to the most amount of potential buyers. It's definitely worth having that uh, conversation up front seeing that they've got a plan in place, but just going over it. So marketing, making sure they've done all they can to get your house in front of the most amount of people. The last one we want to talk about, which is probably the most important, or not always the answer to everything, but it, it does tend to come back to it, and it's price. It's probably the biggest reason. So taking into account all the things we've just talked about, and you might have started a little bit high, whatever, but if your house has been on the sale, on sale, uh, for sale for over 90 days, then it's probably time to have a look, hit the reset button, and just look at price. Because what actually happens is when you list your home for sale with the real estate agent, they do a CMA, which is a comparative market analysis, to, to guide you in where you should list your price, uh, home for sale at what price. So after 90 days, things have changed, the market's moved, could have gone up, could have gone down, could have stayed the same. But it's worthwhile doing a whole new CMA, get a new market appraisal to see where you're sitting. Because you don't want to be chasing the market up or down and then you're never quite getting it right. It's, it's not getting in front of the buyers, it's not maximizing your result. So those are some of the reasons why your house is still on the market, still isn't selling. Thanks for watching this week's episode. I'm Paul Summich. Remember, who you work with really matters. So if you're thinking of buying or selling real estate in 2020 or beyond, we'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to share this with anyone else you know that's thinking about buying or selling real estate in Whangarei. Cheers, guys.